Hi guys, so today we're going to be reviewing Inform Andrea Perlo. Plays for Juventus in the Serie A. He's 5 foot 10 tall, right footed, he's got low medium work rates, a 4 star weak foot and 2 star skills. Looking at his in games, his standouts are his 98 vision, 97 long pass, 96 curve, 95 free kick accuracy and 94 short pass. We've also included all of the upgrades from his non-inform as a comparison for you. So you can see each individual stat increase of all the stats on the screen. So you can always pause it now if you want a closer look at any of his stats. So this is the team we were using in form Perlo in. A 4-3-2-1 silver and gold Italian team with Perlo at central centre midfield. And we've also shoved in in form Candriver at right forward as well. So now onto the obvious problem looking at Perlo's card is the uh, standout 44 pace stat there and it does get a bit worse. He does only have 33 sprint speed so he's really really slow so he's not one for the pace lovers out there but on the plus side he does have decent dribbling and balance as well so he can dribble but it's only really useful for creating space for passes as he obviously does not have the speed to get away from players on the sprint. But what he does have is his amazing passing game. He's got 94 short and 97 long pass. And when you pair that pass in with his 98 vision, he does make one of the best creative uh, players in this game. Does have low medium work rate, which is not the best. A bit of a rarity, those work rates. But he is able to sit back and ping passes to your runners. If you love to play counter-attack, he's great as a deep-line playmate. He is actually the definition of a great deep lying playmaker like he is in real life but we decided to change it up he was sitting back too much we thought we'd give him a go at a cam so swap formations pushed him up to cam see if we could get some goals and his long lane finishing is actually pretty good did have some decent efforts from Perlo had a nice finish from outside of the box and it was on his weaker foot as well he's got a great four star weak foot on him but when you are shooting in the box I think you've got to really rely more on his power shooting than his uh, finesse really he does only have 62 finishing which is really poor so if you just tap the shoot button you're more than likely gonna get it saved make sure you apply a bit more power with Perlo on his shots did also get a goal from a free kick as well really wanted to get a free kick only managed one wasn't the best goal but still managed to get it in as he does have great free kick stats I think it's what 95 free kick accuracy so really, you should not expect too many goals from Perlo, from open play anyway, as he doesn't get forward with those low medium work rates, he does sit back, did really have to work hard to get him into those advanced positions. So let's look at Perlo's performance stats. So in seven games, he did manage five goals, also got six assists as well. All the stats are on the left, all his goals are on the right. Position map shows you where the goals are scored and assists were created as well. So overall we're going to give him for Perley only an average 7.5 out of 10 for me. As now as we said we shouldn't expect a lot of goals from Perlo. You want to really buy him as your creator, as your creative uh, hub in midfield. Who you can put on all your set pieces and let the goals come naturally from free kicks or penalties. And use him as your team's creator. He suits that creative role perfectly. And his, all of his stats and his work rates in my opinion are perfectly suited to the playmaker role. Get him in that midfield, centre midfield playmaker role. That is the role for Perlo. So finally, we're just going to leave you with Perlo's positives and negatives. I would recommend him, dependent on his price, if he does drop. Straight away after release, he was really, really high at 200k. But if he can drop under around 30 to 40k, yes, I would recommend him. Any higher, I wouldn't. I'd just stick with the original. So hopefully you did enjoy the review. If you did, please leave a like. It does help out a lot. We're trying to grow the channel as much as we can. Try and do the most in-depth reviews as we can. Please check out all the other reviews on the channel, loads more to come so stay tuned for them. Cheers lads, thanks for watching and peace.